The biggest challenge in building something with wood is figuring out how to bring two boards together. Of course, in woodworking terms, this is called a wood joint. Now, there are a lot of different types of wood joints. Some joints are fairly easy to make, while other joints are much more involved and complex. So how do we decide which type of joint to use? The best way to answer that question is to first think about what type of project you want to build, the tools you own, and the skills you have. First, let's take a look at the type of project you might have in mind. Building fine furniture, for example, like a desk, a cabinet, or a bookcase, usually requires some fairly sophisticated wood joinery, things like half-lap joints, cross-lap joints, dados and grooves, rabbit joints, mortise and tenon joints, and miters. And these kinds of wood joints require some fairly sophisticated shop tools, tools like a jointer, a table saw, a dado blade set, a router, a router table, and a drill press. Now, as much as I admire the quality and craftsmanship that goes into building projects like this, I think this level of woodworking might be out of reach for a lot of people. As you can see, the tools can be very expensive, and it takes some time to learn how to use them. That's why I'm always looking for alternative types of wood joints, joints that can be made with fewer and less expensive shop tools, and joints that don't require the skills of a master craftsman. Two of my favorites are the pocket hole joint, and a special kind of half-lap joint that I call a sandwich joint. First, let's take a look at the pocket hole joint. At first glance, a pocket hole joint resembles a simple butt joint. That is, two pieces of wood stuck together end to end. However, a butt joint by itself is relatively weak and usually requires some complicated joinery or extra hardware to help hold the boards together. That's where pocket hole joints come to the rescue. Now, to make a pocket hole joint, you'll need a pocket hole jig. A pocket hole jig is a special tool that comes with a pocket bit that creates a pocket hole that provides a path for a pocket screw. This creates a remarkably strong joint between two boards and in most cases you won't even need to use glue. Pocket hole joints are perfect for building things like the inner skeleton of a cabinet called a carcass the face frames that you attach to a cabinet, or even a solid wood box. The best part about pocket hole joints is that you can build fairly complex furniture without spending a fortune on tools. A circular saw, a combination drill and driver, a pocket hole jig, and a few hand clamps from around your shop is all you need to get the job done. And once you get the hang of making pocket hole joints, your project ideas are limited only by your imagination. Now let's take a look at another type of simple and easy joint that I call the sandwich joint. Now sandwich joint is very similar to a conventional half lap joint, which is one of the most widely used types of joinery in woodworking. And for good reason, half lap joints are incredibly strong and durable. And that's because of the extra gluing surface it provides. Now remember that the more gluing surface in a joint, the stronger the bond. The only problem with a conventional half-lap joint is that they require some of the more expensive woodworking tools I mentioned earlier. Tools that might also be difficult for beginners to use. That's why I like the sandwich joint. It takes full advantage of the strength of a conventional half-lap, but is simpler, easier, and less expensive to make. As you can see in the illustration, I'm attaching one board to the top of another and leaving a wide overhang at the end. The overhang creates a step or a lap onto which another sandwich board can be mounted. Bringing all four boards together in this fashion creates an incredibly strong joint, which can be just as strong as a conventional half lap joint. To learn more about building simple wood projects using some of the methods I've talked about here, visit my website at easywoodshop.com. And be sure to check out my free downloads, like the Easy Bit and Screw Chart which is perfect for finding the right size drill bit, countersink, and wood screw for any size board you might be using in your project. Thanks for watching. Take care, be safe, and do good work.